So the first item I wanted to show you was this cool basket. It was priced at $3.50. I ended up picking it up for half off. I thought it was really cool and thought it would make a great hanging basket. So I went back and forth on whether or not I was going to paint it. In the end, I decided I was going to paint the wood. I painted the top and the bottom white by Waverly. I did two coats of paint. Next, I came back in and sanded it down so that it was distressed. One thing I found was this little purse and I picked this up for a dollar. And the reason I bought it was for this little handle. I wanted my piece to have a handle to it. I'm actually gonna take it and spray paint it white because it's kind of a fabric, so I wouldn't be able to chalk paint it very well. So I cut off the handle and then I'm just going to attach the handle to the back with some hot glue. I'm gonna add in some florals that I picked up at Hobby Lobby to finish off the piece. All right, you guys, so this next thing I've had now for at least a month or two. I was so excited to find this. It is a bread box. It's like one of the old ones. Um, not like super old or anything, like probably like 70s or 80s. I spent $10.98 on it because these are really hard to find. I've looked for them all the time. And this was the first one that I've ever seen at a thrift store. I was excited to redo this. I really wanted to use something like this in my kitchen. So I wanted to paint this box that same Sherwin-Williams Argo color that I used. And it's not a chalk paint. So if you're using like a regular paint or like a house paint, you have to start by sanding your piece down just to get off any of that shine so that the paint will adhere to whatever you're painting. So I started off by just taking my orbital sander and sanding the entire box. Now you don't have to get everything off. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but you wanna take off that top layer because usually it's a polyurethane or something that paint is not gonna to stick to. So next I'm going to paint my piece with two coats of the Argo by Sherwin-Williams. A while back I bought a stencil set from Amazon and so my idea was that I could put the stencil on the front of the bread box with white paint. Now I opted to do that instead of writing the words bread on it. I may come back and do that later, but I like how this blends into my kitchen a little bit better. So my last time going to the thrift store, I found this TV tray and it's in really great shape. It was only $3, which I thought was a great deal. There's a lot that you can do with TV trays. You can keep them the way they are and they make 
good little end tables. Like if you need an extra table, you can set it up. You could also change out the top to it and just use the base of the legs. Or another thing you can do is take off the base legs and then use the top for a tray or a sign. So I decided I'm gonna leave it as a TV tray and I'm gonna spray it with two coats of Rust-Oleum white spray paint. Next, I wanted to have like a cool um, kind of farmhouse stripe pattern on the top of it. So I'm gonna be using some painter's tape to put my painter's tape down. And then I'm going to use a gray color that I had called Argo by Sherwin-Williams to create stripes on the front of my tray. I'll pull the painter's tape off. And that's really all there is to updating this $3 tray. I can use it as a tray. I can use it as a end table, anything I need. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.